As always, over the festive season, tourists are pumping millions into Durban's economy. The city is attributing its successful festive season to thorough preparations. Etikweni Mayor's uh, spokesperson, Mulileki Mtungwa, joins us live now from our Durban studio. Thank you so much for joining us uh, uh, this morning. Now, Durban is, I always feel like more than half of the country's population descends on uh, Durban over the festive season, and rightly so, because the beaches are magnificent. Um, a the city is saying that this is all down to the preparations ahead of the festive season. What did they do differently this time around? Uh, thanks, uh, Marcel. Uh, first of all, let us uh, thank uh, the people of uh, Eteguini and our visitors. Uh, as Eteguini, we uh, try by all means to ensure that we deliver a successful and uh, safe and joyous festive season. But we attribute the success of this uh, holiday festive season to the plan that we put in place, the festive season management plan, which entailed uh, uh, all uh, departments within the city working together to ensure that we um, maximize the number of uh, uh, staff personnel that is working around the tourism destination, that include uh, the beaches. Uh, we also ensure that we, in, we, we increase our uh, law enforcement uh, personnel, the metro uh, police, because what we wanted to do is to ensure that I mean, while people are enjoying uh, the space uh, that we have created, particularly along the promenade, we ensure that we increase the number of pol police personnel uh, along that area because uh, Etewin is known for being uh, the preferred tourist destination, so we wanted to keep uh, up to that uh, standard. And now, uh, a story that uh, a colleague of mine in Durban uh, did uh, yesterday that we've been running this morning uh, points to the fact that you are keen to encourage people to use um, facilities in Durban outside of just the beaches. How are you going about uh, getting, especially local tourists, um, to consider visiting other um, highlights and landmarks in Durban other than just the beaches? Uh this uh, uh, current administration, led by uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa, uh, uh, made uh, an announcement uh, during the State of the Nation address that we must uh, build tourism uh, infrastructure uh, so that we can encourage uh, job creation. Uh, so what we have done as a city, we have uh, developed tourism infrastructure even in townships uh, and rural areas. So the numbers and, or the, the economic spin-off that we have seen being generated by the city were also shared. Uh, by uh, our um, uh, um, tourism uh, destinations in, in, the, in the townships as well. So we're not only focusing on the city, but these economic spin-off also spread uh, throughout the city. So we are proud that the infrastructure that we have put in place uh, is beginning to yield a positive result in terms of uh, the contribution uh, of the, uh, um, uh, into the uh, city's GDP. Because as I've indicated that we are expanding the infrastructure and uh, tourism uh, not only within the city but even in the townships uh, and rural areas. If you go south of Deben, you find um, there is a uh, um, Dagani Road. I mean, in Umlazi Township, if you go to the north of Deben, there is a uh, Inanda Heritage Route. So all these areas uh, put together have contributed immensely into the uh, economic spin-off during uh, this festive season. Uh, and now finally, I don't think anybody can deny that the Etiquini municipality is coming out of a very difficult 2019. Unfortunately, in the headlines for all the wrong reasons around it being embroiled in those allegations of corruption, which of course is still being investigated. You now have Mayor Mkolisi Kaunda in office who really wanted to hit the ground running. Um, how have you gone about dealing with the fact that the brand of Etiquini in the city of Durban has been damaged by um, uh, what's transpired there and has been in the headlines uh, uh, over most of 2019. Uh, during his uh, acceptance speech, um, when uh, the new leadership uh, was, was put in place, uh, the mayor indicated that there are about eight key non-deliverables, uh, non-negotiable uh, deliverables that the city will focus on. Firstly, is to uh, ensure that we run an, an, a, a clean government. Uh, secondly, we want to speed up, speed up uh, service delivery. Uh, we want to ensure that uh, people who are implicated in, in, in maladministration face the full might of the law. So that is the, uh, the spirit in which uh, this new leadership 
is, is, is taking this uh, a, a new administration. We, are, we, we, are, we have no doubt that uh, working with uh, law enforcement agencies, the city will be able to, um, um, to, to rebuild uh, its image and the leadership led by the mayor Mkolisi Kaunda is working around the clock to ensure that we bring back uh, the city to its former glory. Okay, thank you so much for your time. A long road ahead there for the Itikwini municipality, but indeed um, hundreds of thousands of visitors enjoying uh, the beaches and other facilities in that municipality over the festive season.